We're in 1.3, question 8, and we're looking at domain and range of a function based on a graph. So what's the domain? So all the inputs are all the x values. We're going to start with the domain. So what x values is this function using? Well, on the minimum, on the left, we are looking at negative 5. On the right, the maximum, we have positive 1. So we're definitely going from negative 5 to 1. We have to decide, should we include negative 5 or not? Looking at the graph here, this circle, the empty circle means do not include that point. So the negative 5 we do not include, and the way we write that is a parenthesis on the left. Now for positive 1, this point is filled in, which means use positive 1, and that's going to be a square bracket. So now the range is all the y values. So we're going to look at the y values here. We're definitely going from 2 to 4 and all the y values in between. The only question is do we include 2? Do we include 4? We'll start with 4. There's a point on the graph right here that actually has the y value of 4. So we're definitely including 4. So let's go ahead and write 2 comma 4. So we're including 4, square bracket. That's a little more tricky at 2. If you look over here, we're not actually hitting the y value of 2. But that's not the only time that we get close to 2. We also get close to 2 over here. And what happens on the right? We hit the y value of 2. So we are going to include positive 2. And that is the domain and the range.